What did we find? Did you discover something amazing? Stumbling across. I'm gonna let you open it so you can find it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. Is careful. it gonna scare me or be no, gross or anything? No, careful, it fall out. What is it? We hit the mother load. <gasps> Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel again. My name is Liz and I'm a reseller in Maryland. In today's video, I take you with me to a super fun and packed estate sale where I promise to show you what I hinted at in the intro. Let's go check it out. Exactly what I anticipated. God damn it, Alfred Dunner. I know. Every time. And uh, what's the other one? Yeah. Um, Chico's? Chico's, Chico's is the one Chico's, that gets me. Every time. She goes. Made in China. No thanks. That is adorable. I don't think I need that, but it is adorable. So 
like a popular room to be in. <laughs> there must be something amazing in here. Let me in. <laughs> oh, it's Patrice. No wonder they're all in here. Oh, Sorry, right. Patrice. I was gonna say it's me. You're it's you right. too. Yes. I found some things possibly for you. You did? Oh, I love having a secret nice weapon. Friends share. <laughs> Look how cute little miniature oh. Bible. I just love stuff like that. It's a Bamberger's catalog. That was a oh my gosh! I did. I'm not familiar with that, but that's really cool. I'm thinking you're right. That red lipstick. Yes. Pretty little box. I truly don't know Yes. Yes, I will. Luckily, I picked out this. What do they call this? Raffia laundry basket. So now I'm shopping into that. Anything good in here? Actually, everything's pretty mediocre. It's very interesting. Well, no wonder it's Tiara International. I don't know what that means. I don't either. But expert oh no, uh, on clothing? Yeah. No, 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 my dear. Look. Huh. And Chico's got me again. What do you mean? I don't um, buy Chico's. Neither do I. Uh, right. But they always fool me. I'm like, look at this vintage top. No, yes. no, it isn't. A pretty dress. Yeah. Well, this is nothing compared to the Undertaker's estate sale. Did you go to that one, Tanya? No, I haven't. Undertaker's? Really yeah, I made a YouTube video out of it. You can Google it, Flip and Lizzie, and oh, I can't wait. it is crazy the stuff he had in his house. It's a good thing I filmed with my phone <laughs> because I, well, I won't say what the, some of the things I couldn't film that were found because really? I'm recording right now, so I don't want to. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't wait to hear about this. If you have to see it, because when I went upstairs in his bedroom, you know how people, what did you say? You know how people have like a blanket chest at the foot of their bed? Yes. He had a casket. Well, it was an amazing estate sale in spite of... I'm, I'm gonna leave this space. Don't do it, I was asking about to talking it. to you. No. Tanya. No, stay here with me. Hi, everybody. No, oh, she's in. gone too soon. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes I crack myself up. It's a good thing because then no one will be laughing half the time. Joan Rivers. Now, her jewelry can be very collectible. Is her clothing collectible? You know, that's not a bad piece. I would probably wear that. I'm putting it in my pile. Please tell me this one's not Chico's. It has shoulder pads. I'm feeling encouraged. That is sweet. I'm talking to myself a lot. I know. It's okay. And I do it when I'm I not recording as well. I have a YouTube channel, so you, it's a good reason to talk to yourself. No, you can use it as an excuse, you know? Yeah, right, right, right. I should just wear a GoPro all the time so that when I'm talking to myself yeah. randomly. Yeah. Leslie Faye. Classic vintage. I don't think I want that, but I'm pretty sure I wore something like that back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm putting that back the way I found it. Right, that's the key, right? I'm assuming I don't have to hang up the clothes that are already down, Look, right? It, like she said, I heard her say to shove it back in the box if it's, right. if it was okay. a box. It's just... a pile. This is a fantastic yeah. shirt. Ellen Tracy, though. But look at this. It's so bad that it's great. <laughs> Do they... Cheat goes again! Oh, it will be okay. She goes again. It's unbelievable, I know. That's a really nice top, actually. I like that. that in my pile. Yes. Hi! Yes, Hi. I'm talking to myself a is lot. This, is this, I think it's a vintage. No. Is it single stitch? Like, if you check the bottom hem, does it have two rows of stitching or one? The lighting is so poor in here. I know, it is really bad. These drapes? Nice. I think they're drapes. They are beautiful. Trying not to make a mess. Don't want to get in trouble with mom. This fabric is beautiful. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's a lot down here. It's so much cooler down here. I mean the people, not the temperature. <laughs> Yay, everyone laughed at my joke. <laughs> it wasn't just me this time. 
Oh, I didn't realize there was this much to look at. What the heck is this creature? And it's five dollars. He's fun. He is fun, but five dollars of fun? I don't know. Some kid made that. Joey made that in like kindergarten or something. Maybe he's a famous artist now, and that's why it's five bucks. For love first bumper stickers. Nice. Like back in the seventies. Nice. Oh, this is cute. It's missing its pieces. I think this is a sake set. I might be making that up. Am I making that up? Maybe. No one would have known. Could have just pretended. I definitely had this. Oh, these paper bag wreaths are so amazingly bad. Oh my gosh. What is going on with this guy? What's the long face for, buddy? Do I want these candles? I'm not even sure I do. Small fry candles. Nipple sterilizer. For five bucks. Mm. Do we have to test it out? <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I think these are vintage, don't you? Yeah, they've gone back to using this logo, but I grew up with this. Is it exactly the same? Um, Because maybe they're... But that I'm looks sure vintage. That looks vintage, yeah. And I bet they were in a stack. Cool. Like, these were on top, just like yeah, that, and that one, but dirty. Very cool. I think we should get them. You want to get one? Or do you not I have one? a I have a Virginia's for Lovers pin. You I can have one. No, why don't you have one and I'll take the other two? Okay. How's that? All right. I don't really, you know, I don't really need them. Like, am I buying these candles? Those are cute. And did you see? They're so cute. Okay. Now I am buying them. In the package, but I know. I love stuff like this. I love stuff like that too. Me too. I just have it in a package. Birthday I know, but then they get, then they get. You got to use them. I know those little grimy hands, and then they're gone forever. Storybook Forest. This is cool. That's a cool one. It is very cool. It, this was like, this is actually a sign, not a bumper sticker. But I don't know. Do I need that? Wait, I'm not here for things I need, right? Maybe? Does it look like it? They do kind of look like it. What are these for? Why do these look familiar? What are, what are these for? Do you remember? These look familiar. Are they, they're not trivets. Do you put oh, them on something? I think of tiles. Seen them in old kitchens. Tiles. Oh, I'm going to have to get those. You know, someone somewhere wants those. I know. These are cute. Are these shakers? $8, but they're redware. Does that make me want to buy them more? Kind of, they're poodles. Eight dollars. Oh. oh yes, I like that. This reminds me of you, Patrice. What? This pennant. It just looks like it's something really you would have. Cute. Really cute. Just the colors, that's gotta be 1970s. Okay, moving along. What kind of treasures are you finding in here? No, you. You're the treasure. Oh! Man, I love this place. Wow. Anything good in here? Or did you get it all? Um, I think we all pretty much got everything we could find. Uh, but my hunch is still telling me there's something in here. Yep, I go by the spidey sense myself. But it's a it's not so Elastic waste acid wash isn't a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Not with the elastic bottom and the bottoms oh my god challenge active force tell me they're to like go to the gym what'd you find oh wow a blondie towel that's cute oh that's and it's beat. 19 87 or jeez i don't know if it, i want to deal with that oh. created in 37. this is actually a cute little cat pillow that is cute. Oh, look at that. I would get a new pillow and I would wash that, yeah. but then you'd be all good. Yeah. In fact, take the pillow out here, girl. Don't even take the, you know, just a pillowcase. I think it's sewn in. No, the top. Isn't the top a zipper? No. Do you it's see? It's not? I don't think so. Well, the so. good seamstresses are really good at hiding yeah. the zipper. Oh, yeah. you might be right. Just like Olivia Newton-John into her grace pants. Stitched yeah. right in. Oh, that was a weird metaphor. Somebody who loved clothing lived here. Ooh, we've got new ties. 
Paul Rodin. Rodon. But look at this tie. It's oh, so yeah. A's. Look at it. It's speaking my love oh, language. Wow. That's cool, Liz. I can see you wearing that. I can see myself wearing it. Wow. A mystery packet. It's either vacuum cleaner bags or what is it's that iron thing? on patches. What is it? We hit the mother load. What is it? <laughs> love this so you can repair oh. anything oh that's great because they're all but are any of them fun that's really great oh they're fun ones Thank original you. still life it's probably priceless sorry oh. it doesn't right. have a price on it just to it see yeah. try them on do it it's one of my favorite parts of this job yeah what what did we find did you discover something amazing stumbling across i'm gonna let you open it so you can find it oh god it's not a spider or something it right okay i can handle it then Pretty much spiders and dentists are the only things that, oh God. Okay. Is careful. it gonna scare me or be no, gross or anything? No, careful, it doesn't fall out. All right, hold on. <laughs> it's a used cigarette. <laughs> and it has someone's name oh. listed on there. What wow, someone had a big crush at Junior's restaurant in Atlantic City. <laughs> what is it? It's a cigarette? Mm -hmm. Oh but we need my. to know who smoked it, people. I'm it just says mad. duck, right? Yeah. So I what guess year? 1968. <laughs> wow. Wait, does it say duck or does it say dick? Well, it wasn't <laughs> me. I wasn't smoking in 68. <laughs> wow. Just like a happy little surprise, I really right? want to know. Isn't it cute? I really, really want to know. <laughs> I'm like, she had to have kept it for a reason. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's tough. Kind of I don't think it tea. is. I think it's nice of you to try. <laughs> Whatever it is, I like it. <laughs> I like it, too. I always like stuff like that. I feel like I, I get nostalgic for other people's things. Right. <laughs> like, wow. I wasn't even there. Look at the price of these cocktails. It's a menu. Oh. Is that restaurant now One, defunct? Um, Probably, right? Yeah. One dollar for a dry martini. Yes, please. I'll take two. <laughs> So here is part one of the haul from yesterday's fun estate sale, though there were some sort of unpleasant surprises, only in that technically this estate sale had already happened, but apparently whoever was in charge left some unfinished business, and I'll just leave it at that. Um, but anyway, there were still some fun treasures to find, and I had fun with my friend Patrice, as well as some new friends I made uh, <laughs> on our journey, shall we say. Um, so I'll start from left to right. I don't usually buy drapes, um, but people could easily upcycle this and either make new drapes or I think you make beautiful pillow covers. I'm not sure that the film is gonna do this fabric justice. And I wanna call this brocade, but let me know, is this damask? I didn't think to look that up, but um, if you see a really nice fabric and they're cheap enough, you probably can flip this on Facebook. Um, I'm gonna guess that I can probably get 25 on Facebook just for the fabric that I have here. Um, I think I paid 10. Now I did look online, I'll throw up a comp for sort of similar curtains. I didn't take the time to find the exact same ones and the comps are pretty good. So that's always an option. You just have to make sure you get the, me the measurements right. So you can grab those if you like the color or the pattern, which I did. I got these for me. I don't know if my kids will wear anything that has this on here, but I figured that could be really cute. And honestly, I think it could be really cute even if you didn't have a hole in your uh, article of clothing to have some cute patches on there. Even if you cut them in a shape that you liked better. I've been watching all these people upcycling and these style icons on YouTube, like B. Jones style, I feel like or maybe like um, Kathleen Illustrated, I think she would do something cool like that. Now I did buy for $8 this, I, it's listed when I Googled it as a candle stand. That is a giant candle. Uh, with my dog around, I'm not putting a candle on there. And it was also listed somewhere else as an ashtray. And I don't think it's deep enough, nor does it have a spot to like prop whatever you're smoking. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it were a plant stand and that's how I'm going to market it. According to um, Google Images, this is by Pier 1, and Pier 1 is now defunct. Uh, so people do like to um, use their things, but regardless of comps, which I didn't find this exact one, I think this would probably sell for 25 or 30, and I paid eight. Um, for someone who wants to just put a plant in a corner and display it nicely, maybe they would repaint it. 
uh, but it's kind of got like nice art deco lines to it. It's like some kind of cast metal. And I guess these are, these are either, I think they're probably lucite or acrylic. Okay, so this was one of the things I really liked because I've never seen one before. Um, I did look up comps earlier, but I didn't take screenshots. One of the comps I found was for 75, and I do think this is a hamper and not a trash can. It's actually almost three feet tall. Um, it's got that real beachy boho vibe going. I think they call this raffia. And this is wicker, uh, but you could use it for almost anything you wanted to. I think it makes sense as a hamper, or maybe an umbrella stand. It is plastic lined. One of the comps was 75 and one was 98. I really don't want to ship that, so I'll probably put it on Facebook for 35. That's my plan. Um, and I, just to mention, the patches were not for resale, although maybe someone would want them for a few dollars. Um, I don't really know why I grabbed this guy. He just had a certain je ne sais quoi. Uh, I don't think he's branded, and he'll probably go in the booth for just a couple bucks, but I figured I would just show you. Sometimes you end up with random stuff. Again, if you have a place filled with pickers, you're moving quickly and you're like, that could be a very rare King Kong figure. No, it isn't. That's okay. I probably paid 50 cents for it and I'll probably get a couple dollars for it. So it's all gonna work out. Now I know a lot of people don't print photos anymore, but Polaroid um, cameras are kind of having a little bit of a comeback or have been having one. And the fact that this is brand new and not used makes me wanna get a Polaroid and brag about something. So that is worth a few dollars and I didn't pay much for it. <sighs> Disney stuff. It's always a conundrum. It feels like it's really collectible and the prices on these were very inexpensive, which is great, but I'm never really sure. Now, I did sell a Disney map. Um, I think it was from the 70s and it sold for like $100 relatively quickly. So I do still buy Disney stuff if it's inexpensive enough. Um, this, according to Google Lens, is from 1957, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm surprised they still had it. It really doesn't look that bad. And the pennant was just really cool. I don't know. Um, I did look up comps on those, and I'll show you what they are. Uh, but in the moment, I did not know for sure. And I often feel like that with Disney items. Um, this book does not have a lot of value, but I love the title. I can't wait to find out what the very worst thing was. Uh, and it will sell in the booth. Um, sometimes I take chances and what happened in this case was I th was throwing stuff in my bag and it was getting buried under other stuff. Uh, and so I got too lazy to edit my cart, so to speak. <laughs> so because the, some of these things were cheap enough, I just didn't bother. That might not be the best business plan. Um, it was really hot in there and I really wanted to get out of there. So because some of the, a lot of these prices were very inexpensive, I just paid for everything as a group and took off. Now, I had never seen these before, at least not in my adult life, and I thought they were so cute. Now, apparently they were used at least once, um, and I couldn't find a set for sale of this exact uh, menagerie, shall we say. I guess that's maybe a snowman. I found some ballerinas, and I found a similar um, set from a different company. So I paid five bucks for them. I think I can probably get 25. That's just my guess, based on the comps and what I think. Um, this little, like, I think this is actually slag glass, but most people would call this a stained glass box. I guess it's taped shut, so I can't open to show you. But it's got this sort of treasure chest shape. That will sell in the booth or on Facebook. I'm going to guess it's going to sell for about 15 to 25 depending on where I sell it. And I think I paid five for that. Um, when you see these um, black painted um, salt and pepper shakers and figurines, I, did, I paid up for these a little bit because... This is actually called redware. There's probably salt in there and I'm gonna to have to throw some over my left shoulder. Well, anyway, maybe that's the pepper. Uh, when you see this reddish clay, even though it's almost always painted black, it's called redware. Why do they do this to us? Why? But anyway, um, redware pieces, people really do like them. They have that kind of creepy mid-century look. Does this guy have a repair? Oh, for goodness sake. Well, there you go. Quality control. Uh, I still think that's a pretty decent repair. I still think they'll sell. Oh, he has the letter P on him. Good job, Liz. Uh, so I spilled pepper and I don't think you have to throw it over your shoulder. That's great news. Um, they were super duper cute. People love poodles and dogs. Made a little bit of a mistake there too, but they were also sort of in the bottom of the barrel there. I got this miniature Bible. It'll probably sell for $5 in the booth. It sells for about five to 10 online. These uh, like shelf sitters, and they really are shelf sitters, are from the early eighties. Uh, I just thought they were really cute and I love vintage Christmas stuff. Not a ton of value, $10 to $15 each. I'll show you the comps so you get more information on those pieces. 
but I had never seen them before that I can recall. Uh, one of my booths, I stock with like apothecary items and kind of like weird stuff and some like borderline oddities. And so I like to put um, pharmacy type stuff in there. People like to make displays out of that. Um, so this doesn't have a ton of value, a box from a local pharmacy, but people enjoy uh, buying those things for like an apothecary cabinet display. Um, <laughs> I sold a Garfield one of these, I believe recently, and I think it sold for like $25. And how easy is this to ship? It's not even breakable. So I grabbed the Snoopy. He's actually worth a little less than Garfield, surprisingly. Now, when I used Google Lens on this guy, it said it was Snoopy, but I'm not sure. I guess I should tell you, I'll put on the screen what it says on this. I meant to look it up and I forgot. I can't read it without my glasses. This is stamped. He is really cute. I'm glad he doesn't squeak because Wesley would come running, but I just grabbed him and he ended up in the pile. Same thing for Bambi. I might have had this toy. And even though this is a shaker, he reminded me of something I bought recently that had a lot of value, so I grabbed him and put him in the pile. All of these things will earn me money. I'm not saying they're big money makers, but I'm saying even when, I guess technically it was the second or third day of the sale, you can still find collectible items and still make a profit, um, even though this had already happened. We did not know that when we planned our day. Um, long story there. So um, pieces like this, like religious pieces, this one's really like monochromatic. The frame's really cool. This I'll probably put in the booth, but it would also sell online. Those kinds of things do sell. I'm gonna think in the booth probably about $15. And if I sold it online, maybe like 20 or 24, something like that. Okay, I've never seen these before. The comp will surprise you because I have like a shoe box full of these. Some have really cool graphics and some are blank. And I thought maybe they were to put over tiles like in a backsplash. Maybe they are. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. One of my friends said she'd seen them in a kitchen a long time ago, but when I used Google Lens or uh, Google Image Search, it said they were for the floor. And I just, I'm not feeling that. It, this feels more like a backsplash item, but I think someone is gonna really want these. You know, look at the coffee grinder. These would could be really cool in a backsplash and they're metal. So anyway, they need to be cleaned up. The comp is like $10 a piece, which sounds crazy, but if I have a shoebox full, I'm thrilled if that's true. I'll make, I might do a little more investigating. These are vintage, um, allegedly vintage uh, bumper stickers. Because we're close enough to Virginia, I grabbed them. They were almost, uh, they were probably like a dollar for the two of them. I haven't looked up this storybook forest, but you know, people really are nostalgic. And that's one of the reasons that vintage and antique items sell. So I grabbed that. I'll look that up and see if that's going to be a booth item or not. And if I find out it has some amazing value, which I don't expect, I'd probably put 10 bucks in the booth. Um, I will throw that up on the screen for you as well. And I got a couple of pictures of these people riding dirt bikes, um, probably because I was inspired by my husband's hobby, but I just thought they were really cool photos actually. And I thought they would sell in the booth. And again, probably like 10 or $12 for those. I also recently had a vintage menu. It might have been from Disney. And I'm trying to remember if it sold or not, but the comps were really good. So when I saw these vintage menus, I decided to grab them. And the value on this one was about 30 bucks. Um, I didn't actually find this one, but I'm thinking fox hunting type theme. Someone might want it even if they never went to the Tale of the Fox restaurant. The prices, by the way, are amazing. You can see this was the real deal. Now, did they steal this menu? Is that cool? Let's look at the prices. Shrimp salad, $3. Fresh clam juice, 35 cents. No way, you'd have to pay me. But anyway, you can see that if prime rib, the colossal cut is $5.75. This is a very old menu. I don't see a date on it. My guess is the 60s based on the menu items. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know if you've been to any of these restaurants. Captain Starnes, Atlantic City, Tale of the Fox, I'm not sure where that is. And then Thompson's Sea Girt House. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that one up too. Anyway, I thought these were cool. We're gonna move on to the next part of the haul, um, which is the clothing. I did actually, hold on, speaking of clothing, I skipped this tie and this little baby hat that I'm gonna clean up and put in the booth. I don't think this is a big money maker, but I do think it's vintage. 
And I do think someone's going to want that for their little one. How cute is that? Um, this tie is silk and it's from the 80s. The comps were all over the place, but we're just going to say that it's worth about 30 bucks. Apparently this is couture, darling. I didn't roll that R right. I got to keep practicing my Duolingo French. Anyway, I loved this. Is, it got a little wrinkled. Um, so I have to take care of that. But look at this. That is an amazing 80s pattern if I've ever seen one. Love it. I don't know. I might keep that. I've been inspired to wear them almost like a necklace or you can wear them as a belt. And they're really, really cool. And I feel like no one else wears ties anymore. So we might as well embrace it. Uh, men, women, everybody. All right, moving on to clothing. I promise we're really going. Here we go. I know what you're thinking. I skipped this little uh, trinket shelf. These always sell in my area on Facebook. Now this is a smaller one. Um, I guess because I was using it as a display here. <laughs> I forgot about it. Um, this one will probably sell for like 15 to $20 on Facebook is my guess. And I think I paid maybe $5 or something like that. Did not mean to skip that. Just noticed when I was transitioning onto clothing. So until I get a clothing rack, I have to spread stuff out. And there are two parts of this haul, but I'm just trying to do the highlights because I did buy quite a few clothing items. There was a lot of clothing there. Um, I really like this drawstring. How awesome is that? Um, like tie dye, sort of like a broomstick skirt, but the fabric is more like cotton. It doesn't have that crinkly thing going on, which I actually like even better. I just love this. It's almost like an ombre tie dye. So beautiful. I think that will sell in the booth. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother putting it online. It's not like high end, but I think it'll sell for 20 to 30 in the booth. Um, I love the tag on this. I know that always sounds so weird when people say that. You can tell it is a vintage tag. Now, when I found a piece by the same company, I can put a comp up for the jacket I found. I think it said it was 1960s. I don't think this is 1960s. I suppose it could be. I think it's probably 1990s. Um, it's made in Nepal. Something about the tag and the colors makes me feel like it's 1990s. Let me know if you know anything about this company, Pinky, uh, that's made in Nepal. This is like a romper. So I might put that online because rompers are kind of hard to find in cool colors and a vintage romper. Very cool. So again, I think that's like a, uh, on, online, probably a $30 or $40 item at least, but in the booth, probably like $25, $30. Um, I almost passed up this Cold Water Creek piece because I don't do Cold Water Creek, but I think I used Google Lens at the estate sale and it's vintage. And it's also at least partially silk. And it's got this color blocking and these like embellishments. And so again, I might just sell this in the booth. I really don't love to list clothing online. Maybe I should love to do that. I'm not sure I'll be able to change at this age, but um, Still a good pickup for whatever I paid for it, five or eight dollars, something like that. Um, I'll throw up the comps so you can see. Um, this is a really cool piece, actually. It's got that sort of 90s. I think this is probably 90s as well, based on the type of color blocking and the type of um, embellishments. I lived through it, so I remember it pretty well. Can't remember yesterday, but the 90s are clear as a bell. Okay, I just sold a crochet vest immediately in my booth. This one's not perfect. I'm thinking it's homemade, but I think it will sell right away. It's this lemon yellow and white. Very cute. And it's not too, too fitted. So you could put something underneath it, B. Jones style. So again, I'm thinking like 25, 30 in the booth. This blouse surprised me. I almost didn't buy it. And there was a, um, you know, a clothing picker right next to me. And I just thought it was a little like 80s cringy, maybe early 90s. It has the shoulder pads, so look for those. I know some shoulder pads are back, but you can usually tell if something is vintage or not. Uh, if you've been in the business for a little while, this print is just, it's got, a, it's got a lot going on. Scrolls and roses and leopard, oh my. Uh, but anyway, this is silk. And when I found the comp, I almost fainted because I almost left it behind because I have a few blouses with sort of this grandiose type of print on it but I'm glad I didn't put it back. And this I will list online. Because the comp is so high and the condition is so good, I am gonna list this online. And doing that armpit to armpit laid flat bust measurement is the most important one. And I think that that will be easy enough to do. And someone is gonna love the heck out of this amazingly um, ornate beauty onto the next table. 
Okay, so wrapping up the clothing haul. Now, I do realize that some of these pieces are stained and I will do a soak. Um, I have some special stuff I get on Amazon. I'll throw it up on the screen if I can um, hunt down the name for you. Uh, and it takes out a lot of stains, but Dawn dishwashing detergent also, you rub it on the outside of the garment and the inside on the spots. This might be a real pain in the neck. These are pretty stained. Um, and let it sit and then wash it normally and it will almost always take out a stain. I bought these because the acid wash really spoke to me. It spoke to me very loudly, like I'm gonna say late 80s, early 90s. And these look like gym pants. They have an elastic waist and an elastic cuff. Crazy. I like this, this this again reminds me of like, I don't know, like some kind of active wear, you know? Or like, maybe it reminds me of like um, the wrestling, like the belts. I, I, tell me, Tell me if I'm crazy. You can tell me, it's okay. Uh, Tomorrow's Generation is the name of the company. Hopefully I can get the stains out. I don't think they're in good enough condition to put online and I don't think the comp warrants it, but they deserve to be saved for a few dollars, which is what I paid. So I saved that, we'll see what happens. Maybe someone will love that distressed look or they'll cover up any remaining stains with some of those patches I had. Sequins are back. Wait, are they just back for me? Anyway, I'm kind of feeling that uh, casino cougar vibe these days, but anyway, I thought this tag was really cool. I want to think that this is also 80s. It could be a little earlier. No shoulder pads, but sequins, which is usually 80s, and this like blousey shoulder. Look at the cuffs. This has a couple of spots too that I'm going to try to get out. I'll have to see how that goes. This house was full of Chico's. All of the pickers kept going, oh, Chico's, because a lot of it was fooling us. We kept thinking it was some amazing vintage treasure. But I thought this Burnout Velvet piece by Chico's was worth picking up for like the $5. I think it will sell in the booth if I decide I'm not wearing it. I couldn't help myself. It, it could be vintage Chico's. That tag looks a little old to me, but I know this Burnout Velvet is back. So regardless, I'll probably put these pieces in the booth, all the pieces on the table. Uh, they just are not worth quite enough to warrant the extra effort and the shipping. Um, but I felt that they were worth spending, say, $5 on, so I did. This reminds me of something I would have worn in the 80s. <laughs> uh, this print, this is rayon, and it's made in Kuwait. I can feel the shoulder pads. I think it's a, like a short sleeve button down. Look at that print. And the black and red, you, we saw that a lot in the 80s. Um, my friend Patrice pointed this out to me. I, at first, did not think it was vintage because from far away, the condition looks so good. There's a little cracking in like the decal. Uh, but it is single stitch. So, wait, is it single stitch? Hold on. It is not technically single stitch. Well, anyway, I think this is not technically single stitch, right, guys? When I looked really quick, I thought it was single stitch, and so did Patrice. Well, anyway, it's still a teachable moment. So, you want to look for just one line of stitching. These were close enough together that when I looked really quickly, I thought this was like that fading. Look for a single stitch. This is still a vintage piece. Um, I think it's from the 90s. I did look it up. Um, the comp was a little tricky. Like when you clicked on it, it went to a different t-shirt, but it was like, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks. I think that will sell in the booth. Very cool. And the print on this one, I just was like, that's 1980s, maybe 1990. This like geometric, is this math? Are we doing the new math again? I, I don't know. I just see math everywhere, I guess. Um, again, these pieces were relatively inexpensive. And so I took a chance, and again, I was moving pretty quickly. I actually had a busy day yesterday, and I had to make sure I got back for something special. And so uh, I definitely need to hurry. Now, would I recommend that you edit your cart a little bit more than I did? Eh, probably. Look over things for staining. Maybe you don't feel like dealing with it. But like those um, acid wash jeans, I've never seen them before, and I didn't want to leave them behind. They seem like the type of thing that really someone would love in the booth. And if I can get those stains out, maybe I will put them online. We'll see. And not put them in the booth. But anyway, that wraps up the haul from this fun estate sale, even though it wasn't terribly lucrative. I will still make a profit and a decent profit. I would guess I'll probably make 100 or 150 profit. That's based on what I know so far about these items. So thank you for tuning into the channel. Thank you for your support. 
91% of you are not subscribed, would you please consider just clicking that little button to kind of thank me for all the fun times you've had together? I would love that so much. I do also hope that you guys go out there shopping, you find some great treasures, and you pay yourself well for that time out there. And you know that I hope that you never stop searching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.